All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Voices of the Void. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to walk you through the basics of how you get signals inside of this game, which is going to require... Well, technically it can require all four of these consoles, but until you get the refining tool upgraded, it'll just require the targeting console, the scanning console, and then the console lets you listen to it and then save it out on one of these recording discs. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab one of these recording tapes and slot it, one of the red ones, inside this slot here in the listening console. That's the one with the speakers and, like, you know, it looks like a mix station for, like, being a DJ. Next, we're going to go over here, and this is the one that allows us to target a signal. Now, I don't know why this one's currently on a signal to begin with, but normally you have to hit shift, which will tell you what direction there's a signal, and then you move with WASD in that direction until you find one of these pulsing puddle-like pieces right here. Once you find one of these pulsing signals, you just put your reticle as close to the center of it as possible, and then hit enter. There is a potential that it's a false flag, that it's not actually there, and you have to go find another one, in which case you just hit shift again, and then you follow the red lines until you kind of find one. Uh, then you hit enter, and once it pings that you found one, it'll make the happy bloop sound, and then all of the satellites around the map, you can actually watch them, the dishes, will reorient to point at it, and then once they're done pointing at it and targeting it, you can go over here and modulate the signal in order to target and download the data from that, that target. So in this case, it'll stop saying no signal, but it'll be blurry and fuzzy because you gotta you gotta zero in on the actual object that you're trying to scan from space. So to do that, we need to adjust polarity and frequency, which are these two dials here up on the board. So the thing I want you to focus on is we have this little three band switch here because each one of these signals can be hanging out on one of these polarity directions either right, center, or left and then once you find one it'll work for both of these down here so we're going to activate the polarity I always start on the left and then we're going to increase the polarity by a factor of 5. I'm going to target the 5 and hold E. And then I'm just going to use my mouse wheel to crank it up really high and see if that little bar there in the middle moves at all. That's the signal strength. So because nothing's happening, I know that that is not the correct polarity on this three-way switch, so I'm going to go to the center. And I'm going to see if it moves. If it doesn't move... I'm going to move it to the third one, and that one should move. That's the one we want, so now I'm going to grab the plus 5 again. And I'm going to slow it down to like 25 until it moves again, and then I'm going to try to get it as close to full as possible without going back down. So it's very common to get almost all of them but the last uh, light to light up. That's at 97%, which you can see down here in this little readout in the bottom right corner. So now that we've got that one, we'll turn this one off so we don't accidentally fiddle with it. And then we'll touch the frequency toggle and we'll grab number the plus 10. And now I'm just gonna crank it to like plus 70 until I see the image start to wibble wobble and I passed it already. Sometimes these are more sensitive than other times, so it just depends. And you just wanna zero in by going plus or minus until you fill that bar. This one is like from zero to a thousand instead of just a circle. So once this is happy and they're both filled, it'll start to download fairly reasonably at a, at a fairly reasonable speed. I'm going to toggle that off and then I just have to wait until the download speed re or the downloaded amount reaches a hundred. Now, if you want to upgrade any of these consoles, you go to your computer and you go to the upgrades. And then up here at the top, you can upgrade your download speed. Uh, you can tweak some of these other ones like ping size or the ping speed or the sensor speed or any of that stuff that'll adjust how quickly you can scan for new targets. 
uh, the cooldown on your ping to tell you which direction the targets are, are hiding on your scanner window. All that good stuff is in here. If you're curious about what any of this stuff does or what it upgrades, just look at the wiki. There's a very nice description on there that'll do a lot better job of than me trying to explain to you how that works. It's also worth noting that the doctors that send you emails every day, they will not ask you for higher level refined drive datas unless you've already unlocked having higher level drive data. So you don't have to worry about that until you unlock it. All right, so now it's almost at 100%. You can see the download rate there in the red number next to our input image. And once it's fully downloaded, we can hit this button here. The big green button will light up and you can save the signal. And then it'll be sent over here to this station. You can listen to it by hitting play slash stop. Although initially it's just gonna be garbled garbage until you start to refine the signal. Then you can hit this yellow button to export it to your tape, grab the tape, and either put it in the refiner, if this is upgraded to refine stuff, or plunk it here in your little uh, pile of drives until the researchers ask for it. Grab yourself another one, because you need a lot of these scans all the time. And then immediately queue up another one, so there's always one constantly processing in the background. So that'd be it. That's how you do the scanning here inside of Voices of the Void. I am playing version 0.8.2, in case you're curious. Uh, and until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.